Hi everybody, it's Nell Thames at Stamp with Nell. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Northeast Texas. Um, so I am here tonight with a card class. This is uh, the card we're going to make. It is a double window card because there's a window not just in the front, but you're actually looking through. It's also a shaker card. Do, 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 do. That's the funnest part of it, in my opinion. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, this card's for my father-in-law. Good thing he doesn't actually watch my live streams because then he would know what he's getting for Valentine's Day. All right, so let me show you what we're going to use. <clears throat> um, we're using the Stylish Shapes dies. Um, and the Gone Fishing Suite, which includes, um, uh, off the top of my head, uh, the Gone Fishing um, stamps, and here are the dies. It includes the um, Let's Go Fishing paper, and I think the um, this Twisted Rope 3D embossing folder. It looks like rope, but my ring light won't let you see what it actually looks like. So... Um, I've done most of the cutting. Oh, I'm sorry. We're also using the dots and spots dies. I have had this forever and I have not used it. Let me show you what it looks like. It is a large die. It's, um, like at least four and a half by five. It's a little bit wider than that. Maybe it's, oh, it's five and a quarter by seven and a half. See, I told you it was large and it is dots. Um, and it, so basically what it does is it cuts out all of these little circles. Um, and then it leaves you with a really pretty, um, background, which we're not going to use today, but I'm looking for some opportunities to use these because I have several of these now in, in a few different colors. Hello, Mary. Thank you for coming. I'm always happy to see you. David says hello as well. <laughs> he's, he's just waving. He's not actually talking. Um, and then we're going to use the Country Bouquet stamp set, and all we're going to use from here is the Happy Valentine's Day um, sentiment. So if you have a different Valentine sentiment, or if you just want to handwrite it, initially I had left it off and, um, and just had it. So you hand wrote it, but, um, I decided that since I was going to call it a Valentine's day, it actually had to say happy Valentine's. Sorry, I just moved my thing. I think. Okay. Um, so let's get started. There are I, I have my instructions that I wrote out um, because I find that it's helpful <laughs> for, oh, there, um, there he goes, it's helpful if I follow along just in case I made a mistake. So the first thing that we're going to do is fold the card base and the card base is, um, it's crumb cake. So I've got it folded in half. This is four and a quarter by 11 and all of the instructions are on my blog already. Um, I made this card last week. Um, and I, but I wanted to film a video because I think the window sheet makes it just a little bit complicated. And so I didn't want to totally leave you all on your own. So I have this sheet and then I have um, just a slightly smaller piece. So this one is four by four by five and a quarter. Um, and there's actually, um, so that, that one is going to lay on top of here. So um, before we get started with that, we need this one little piece of DSP because I'm going to um, adhere it to the front because it's pretty. Um, I was going to enter this in the color throwdown challenge for last week um, and at the last minute decided I decided not to do that, but that's why I picked the colors that I did. And of course, you know, they also will go, they go well with this, um, with this designer series paper, the Let's Go Fishing. This is a brand new glue. You know what's going to happen when it, it's going to just... It's going to spurt. It's going to spurt. It is going to spurt. Come on now. Okay, never mind. We're going to give up on this brand new glue and go to a different brand new glue. All of my glues, I have three on my table. Oh, see, that one spurted already. Um, all of my glues are brand new because they all ran out at the same time. I'm not sure exactly how that worked, but I had to replace them all this week. And you know what? we got to do that pretty right in the middle there. All right, so this DSP is um, four and an eighth by five and three eighths, and this is just going to get glued to the front um, as best I can. I see that my fingers are now icky, so we'll just wipe those off. Um, okay, so there's that. Then we are going to take this um, card front card panel 
I probably could have made this a little smaller, um, but I didn't. I made it that that same uh, four inches by five and a quarter. So it's basically just an eighth inch smaller. If you want more of this blue to show, you could um, do that. But it is going to be lifted up a little bit. So it won't be, um, you know, it won't that, that blue won't go to waste, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to take a... Well, all right, I already have, I have two pieces of window sheets cut here and I put um, sticky tape on them because I lost, I kept losing them when I was making the card. So I had to find a way to um, keep them in the, um, in the picture here. So I'm gonna take a small piece of this tape. Now I find that the sticky tape ones are, uh, or the sticky note ones, this is the actual uh, post-it note brand. Um, these are a little bit on the um, sticky side for me. So I put them, um, and sometimes they stick to in, um, my cardstock more than I want them to. So I put that on my shirt and I held that. I'm holding these together. And then I'm going to take the second largest square. So I have, I have the largest and the second largest. I'm going to take the second largest square die for the... Um, stylish shapes squares and I'm going to place it approximately if I can put my card straight I use my grid I'm going to place it approximately a half inch down from the top of the um, card the of the card panel this front card panel um, and then I am going to use my stamp and cut and emboss machine to um, to die cut it and I'm not now I am gonna push it between the two and I'll bring it back before if I have to die cut the sec the bottom one I'll sh I'll show you that before I do it but um, I'm not gonna bring my machine in because the last time I did that it messed with our um, um, our auto focus yeah blurry it became blurry hello okay so here I go I'll be right back la, 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 la. Mary sing for me we're la, singing la, 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 la. David, you should have a song. La, 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 la. That's right. You should have a song that you sing while I am oh, up. Probably a copyright infringement. Well, no, not if you sing it. Remember, we talked about That's this true. before. <laughs> so David um, does. He arranges music sometimes. He's uh, he's in IT, but he arranges music. Um, and oh, see now you you're seeing my excuse me. You're seeing my my magic mat, which I love by the way. If you don't have one of those, get one. Um, oops, that did not work at all. Let's try again. One moment, please. This is what happens when you're live. So I'm just going to sit it right back into the, um, it probably is because I used the magic mat. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to sit it right back into the grooves and I will be right back. David, sing again. I'm going to sing a song. <laughs> sing, sing, sing. Yes, he does. He is card. This is going to be a long ooh, one because... Ooh, do, 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 do. We're having fun today. <laughs> okay, so here it goes through the car. I'm not sure why that didn't work. I must have And said. Mary says she's totally singing. So, oh, see, Mary is Mary sings often, and I, I I love listening to Mary sing. It's always something very appropriate for what she's doing. Okay, so now you can see my pretty. I'm going to take this. Darn it! I'm going to take this off gently. Because I just see that I, there we go. Yeah, I got a little thing there, but we're just going to ignore it for now. Okay, so we're going to call it rustic and just leave it in place. So now I'm going to pull this off. This one may or may not have cut all the way through. And if it doesn't, then I just take this. Whoops, not that. We take this and run it through again. So once more, David and we're Mary. Gonna sing, sing another song. <laughs> sing a song. And we're going to sing another song as... Nell does it cut with her machine. Here we go, here we go, here maybe, we go. Maybe I need to have you tell you what the machine is called so right. you could well um the I'm not sure if the Oshex is because I ripped it. It's it'll be fine. It's just uh, you know, we'll cover it up with something. It's a design um opportunity. All right, so now I have these two squares. I will keep these for something else. Um off to the side here in my keep this for something else pile because you know everybody has one of those right um sorry that you saw my magic mat but i really do like it um i, I my bottom plate is very warped and so i um 
I use it occasionally, but not that often. Okay, so now before, once more, we are going to emboss. Um, so this might take care of my problem here. Um, we are, I need to emboss this front panel. And I did this after I cut the square because um, I feel like if I don't do it, then it, um, it kind of smushes my embossing down. So this is a 3D embossing folder. I'm going to use the um, bottom plate, the big thick number one plate, and the number four plate, which is the gray plate for my stamp and cut and emboss machine, to run this through the machine. So one more time, everybody. Sing to your phone. Sing to your phone. Sing your phone. David, are you, are you um, running out of songs to sing when I emboss? I wasn't ready. I'm hoping that this is the last time. Okay. I, I believe this is the last one. And we're in Boston today. <laughs> and she's back. All right, I'm back. So um, so now we can see that we have some really, and see it fixed my problem. I don't even have to worry about it now. Because um, it kind of pushes that together anyway. So that's good. All right, so now we have these two panels. We're going to flip this one over and use the tear and tape that I, oh, I, I put everything in a bin so that I would find it, but you know what happens when you do that? You can't find anything. So I'm gonna move this. Um, I, let's do this differently. No, that's right. Um, when I did, I noticed that my last, and I'm just, this is tear and tape, and it literally, you put it on, you tear it off, and it's easy. It's not like, you know, duct tape that you can't tear at all with your hands or packing tape that you need to use your teeth for. No, I would never use my teeth. My dentist would be very upset with me. All right, so I am putting this on the back side of, oh, thank you. Where did that come from? On the floor. <laughs> David's finding things on the floor that are just, <laughs> okay. That you might need. That I might need. I don't need those, those okay. things. Um, and so with tear and tape, um, I use my bone folder to burnish it so that it sticks nicely. And then we're going to put one of our window sheets right over here. So, um, and the window sheet is cut at three by three. So it's definitely big enough to cover the, um, the opening and the ed beyond to the edge of the tear and tape. We're going to do this twice. We're going to do it first for this one. While I'm lining this up, let me tell you that um, there will be no, let's move this over just a bit. There will be no live next week due to the Super Bowl. I know not everybody watches, but I do. So, <laughs> so I, I do plan to record a video, but there won't be a live. And the recorded video will be on the, um, It'll be on YouTube if we can get it to go live on. Well, we'll put it on Facebook as well, but it might not be set up the same way. So we're going to do the same thing with this um, because this is a double. We're going to do the same thing. So tear and tape here again. All right. And while we're tearing taping, since that's <laughs> you are you are so right, Mary. You know, OK, so I have to tell you about my, my daughter is a sweet little girl. She's pretty she's um, pretty girly. She is a. You know, she, it not, not that doing your hair and wearing a lot of makeup mean, or playing with makeup means you're girly, but, um, she does those things and, um, she, she's just kind of a girly girl. And my son and my husband, uh, my late husband went to, um, a hockey game when my son earned it for, um, oh, hi, Amy. Um, thank you for coming, Amy. When my son earned it for, um, they went to a hockey game because my son earned it through Boy Scouts for selling popcorn or something. And they really enjoyed hockey. I don't think either one of them had been to a live hockey game prior to that. So I'm just removing the tearing tape again after um, I burnished it and kind of pressed it into the paper. Um, now my fingers are stuck. Um, anyway, so as a family then later, we went to a different hockey game. And um, my daughter, we sat at the front. And my daughter, you're laughing about me putting my sticking my fingers to the thing we sat at the front and my daughter my girly girl daughter as they you know as a fight starts in hockey she's screaming at the at the players kill them kill them it was a appalling as a mother <laughs> i was just like are you kidding me are you really gonna say that 
But yes, she did. Now, if, if my son had said it, that story would never have been told. But um, she was all about it. She was all over it. Okay, so I have now made both of my windows. These are both now um, window sheeted. And um, I have already cut this in my instructions. I tell you, these are the, um, the adhesive foam adhesive strips. So they're pre-cut for you in strips. And I just cut them down to three inches. Yeah, she was very into it, way more. I mean, she would never watch, she would never watch football, but boy, that girl loves hockey. Um, so yeah, kind of crazy, I thought. But, you know, but, but maybe I think it's crazy because I'm not into hockey and I I can't even follow the puck. Um, but, you know, everybody everybody loves something different, right? Now, she's a horseback rider, Mary. She's a She rode uh, um, jumpers. She And she did really well. She, did, she didn't fall off on a jump until mom was no longer um, in Illinois to watch her. And then she fell. And she, she was, she's okay, but she, uh, that was the only, the first time. I mean, she was years. She rode for years before she fell off on a jump. So, all right, then I'm going to grab my paper snips because I didn't quite put these on exactly the way I put them on last time. And I can leave this here because I'm going to need it, but I just wanted to not have it. So, okay. So there's that part. Now I have already cut out my dots and spots. Yeah, she would, that was, she did, she rode since she was riding when she was eight. Uh, no, eight? Yeah, eight. Um, she rode Saddlebred at first, and then she went to the jumpers. Okay, I see a dog hair in here. Dog hair is an, a design choice, just so you know. Um, I think we've pretty much decided that, that it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a design choice. Now, when you do this, don't do what I did yet. You have to, I think you have to fall. Someone said, David, it's a little bit blurry. Yeah. Is it blurry or is it just me? Well, no, sometimes that makes it better. Anyway, so don't do what I did. Um, in one, I made this card several times, um, because I've made a little bit of change to it each time I made it and, um, don't put the ball, the bowl, don't make it on the top sheet. Make it on the bottom sheet. Um, oh, it's fine. Okay, thank you, Mary. Um, so before I get all excited about tearing that off, we are going to put the rest of the. Um, gonna put the rest of it now. See, I could have left all of the these long, but I just like having that those little pieces already cut, and so I am going to. Um, kind of make a, I'm going to make a square now um, with my, I'm sorry, <laughs> I got totally into what I was doing yeah. um, and just use these foam adhesive strips because I know that I'm pretty sure the Stampin' um, dimensionals are the same size, but just in case they're not, I'm going to use the, um, and these do tear, but you know. Sometimes I like to just cut because I'm being like that. Um, I like to use these. If, if I use them for the uh, window, I like to use them for the rest of the oops, stand up part just to or the um, just because I want to make sure it's the same size. I'm sure the Stampin' Dimensionals would be fine, but we're going to use this anyway. Um, and to be quite honest, I just put as much as I, I probably put way more than I need here. Um, and that's just what it is. Um, it's just because I'm feeling the love with the statement dimension, with the, um, um, okay, I'm, I think I'm done. I think I've overdone it. So now you're going to have to watch me take all this paper off. So what, um, let's see, what st other stories do I have about, about hockey? None. Um, I was not a huge um, football fan. I, I was a drum major when I was in high school and we had to watch the football. And I still, for all the football that I've watched, um, do not necessarily know the, the um, rules. And so when David and I were dating, I got the impression that David did not was, well, I'm pretty sure he told me he didn't watch football. But that apparently does not mean he doesn't know the rules and that he didn't in some previous life watch football. Now his parents, his dad went to Auburn and his parents are 
um, big football fans, or his mom is no longer with us, but his dad is. And his dad apparently is a big Auburn, well, not apparently, is a big Auburn fan, so he pretty much watches everything that Auburn does, football, basketball. I cannot get to, I can't. This is sticking to my fingers like you wouldn't believe. I'm going to have to do something different. Um, anyway, so I thought that David did not know anything about football. Not that I was going to teach him anything about football, but um, I am, you know, when when something happens and I'm like, what happened? He he will tell me that, you know, he'll give me the rule and he'll tell me what happened. And it's like watching football with my son. I didn't know he knew as much about football as he does because we really did not watch it until he was a um, older teenager, um, although he played football for a little while. Okay, these little dots are just jumping out all over the place. There. And so one of the problems that I have is I have to make sure that they don't stick to each other. Those little dots don't stick. Okay, I'm going too slow here. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to speed it up a little bit. All right, so the idea here is to, without pressing too hard in the beginning, is to line this up, there we go, um, and make it so that it's all fun, fun and dandy there. All right, so that's that part. Look, yeah, it shakes. Oh, wait, something bad has happened. One moment, please. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is also a design choice. Okay, so I looked at the, I got the, the things lined up, but I didn't get the edges lined up. This is what happens when I have to look at more than one thing. So we're going to hope that I can get this off without ripping it to shreds. And I don't actually, um, I'm not good at this, so, you know, you're going to watch me rip it to shreds, to be quite honest. <laughs> uh, because I'm, I'm actually, because it doesn't matter to me what the underside looks like. Um, Mary says your eyes are my eyes are kooky? Yeah. I, you know, I could have, you might not have noticed if I had just not gone there, but because the, the because it's such a small margin, when I saw it, I thought, oh, a bummer. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to put it together. We're just going to, it, don't do what I do. Um, just, yeah. Okay. We're moving on. We're moving on to, I have already cut. Let me think what I could do here. Well, it's meant to be crookedy, right? It's that's a design choice. Cutting the phone strips with the snips, slide them from the back side. Maybe. Well, I could could I lift them from here? No, see, this is the problem because I put so many on. I'm gonna have to solve this problem later. Just um, just be aware that that is a problem, a potential problem. The only other thing I could do is restart, and I'd rather not do that because I, um, I just rather not do that. Mary says she's seen you do it with your mink mask. You know what? Maybe I think I'm just gonna. All right, everybody. So let's talk about something else. How's your weather been? It's been it's been nice here. We've had the windows open this week, um, and you're off frame. I'm I know. <laughs> There's a reason for that. As I rip the card off, there we go. Um, we've been really um, cold this or warm this week or cold rather cool. Um, in overnight, but in the morning, it's or during the day, it's it's been in the 70s, which is one of the reasons why we I moved to Texas. So I am really, again, this isn't going to show, but I'm really doing a number on the backside here. Um, so, uh, but this morning, I don't know, it was maybe in the 50s, and the house is now 65 degrees, which is not in general very cold. Um, yeah, raining and nasty. Yeah, gratefully, we didn't have, we had rain overnight. David said we had a huge thunderstorm that I did not hear at all. He said, even my dog, you know, I mean, as a dog mom, you'd think I'd know what my dog was doing. As a dog, I'm going to have to probably put glue on this. I've done, so, oh my gosh, I've really just torn. I think if I were doing this, I'm not sure this was salvageable, but <laughs> if I was doing this, 
um, and you all weren't here, I might have started again because I did quite a number. I really have done quite a number on the bottom of this because it's really I really have to go all the way up to the top. Okay, it is fixed. It is fixed. We're going to, it is not fixed, but we're going to call it's it fixed. Fine. Yeah, we're going to call it fixed. Um, so anyway, so it's been cold um, out overnight and the house gets down to 65 and doesn't get any warmer. So I actually have my heater on, but you know, one would think we'd just turn on the heat, but I don't want to turn on the heat. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, that, that was a design. Okay, so this, I'm sorry, this frame I cut, I previously cut with, um, this is the luster paper, um, and I cut it using these two, on the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, using these two, just like this. Um, so if you can see, there's just a little bit of a border, and when you do that, you get this centerpiece. Um, well, actually, for this color, you get this centerpiece. And then you get a frame that looks like this. So you set hold um, set the centerpiece aside to use for something else. I'll find something to do with it. And we're going to use this particular, woo, this gluey piece. That's going to be way too much glue. Um, use this gluey piece um, around the edge. And I chose for the outside, um, I chose to use boho blue. And for the inside, I chose um, wild wheat. So this is just one of those things where I think maybe I should like always have a second one cut. Yeah, see, that's the th I guess that's the thing. It's 60, 65 in Chicago um, would be, you know, a heat wave at this time of year. Yeah, and it's short weather. Yeah, yeah, it's short weather, no coat. Um, and, but here 65, oh, and, and actually because it was, because it rained, uh, it's, uh, it just was cold. It was damp. And that, that's the thing about, you know, Texas during the summer is nice and, um, toasty, but during the winter, um, it's just kind of wet and during the spring. All right. So I did the same thing here. I just I just edged it just so that, you know, maybe you don't know, you don't see the magic necessarily. All right, so that's that piece of that. Now we're going to use these um, two center pieces because I have them out. Oops. We're going to use these two center pieces for something else. We're going to die cut, um, not that. We're going to die cut... Um, a small little feather. Now, I do not fish. So David probably knows what these are, but I do not know what they are. Um, this little feather guy, we're going to cut out of blue. Lures. Well, I know they're lures. I, I mean, that I know. Um, and then we're going to stamp with black, with memento black. We're going to stamp this, this lure here in wild wheat. Now, I chose to um, use my heat tool. <clears throat> this, I'm sorry, this is the Wild Wheat Luster paper. So I chose to dry this a little bit because I didn't know if it would, um, if it would dry. And I can see that it's actually a little bit wet around the edge. So I'm going to dry it enough to die cut it out. Um, and I'm using my heat tool on level one. One would think that it should be dry by now, so we'll see. Okay. Um, and I'm going to take these both and cut them at the same time. And I'm going to use this goes here. Um, and I'll put a little piece of, well, I left it over at the machine. So this will go here, and this one can go anywhere on this paper. I'll be right back. David, you're singing again. I'm singing while <laughs> watching you do your thing over there with the machine. Oh, you can sing the over there song. Over here, over <laughs> there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay.
Okay, keep talking amongst yourself because okay. David is we're not talking. getting to sing. No. We're talking, we're oh, talking, we're you talking. Didn't have, you didn't tell me I had to have anything prepared. I know. I'm going to, you know what, you need to write me a, a uh, Stampin' Tupman Boss machine song. Oh, okay, I'll do that with accompaniment. David said that he, um, I, I started to say this earlier, David does a little bit of um, music arranging for church, and so he'll, you know, the, um, he has a program that he uses to, oh, bringing out my magic mat again, showing you the magic. Um, anyway, he has a program that he uses um, that helps him um, do his magic, and so, uh, but he said he was going to write me a song, and, you know, as the wife, I feel like I deserved a song before others, maybe. All right, um, I should have cut out while I was in there, I should have cut out the other, the other piece I needed, which is right here. That's why I put it there. Be right back. Okay. This is kind of how I craft. I think I'm done, and then I have to do it again. So, cranking along, and I think there might be one more. In fact, I know there's one more. So, David, get your song ready, because there will be one more. All right. This is where I, you know, should just cut it all before y'all get here, right? Now, this one in particular, again, I am not a fisherman or a fisher woman or a fisher person. Um, so this little triangular thing, I do not know what it is. And so I just called it a little triangular thing. It kind of looks like a little fish head on this lure, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be, but I have no idea. So I am putting a little dot of glue there. Um, a glue dot, a mini glue dot would also work very well here. And if this doesn't work in a second, that's what we're going to use. There we go. I think there's glue on that. I think, I think, I think. Oh, well, now it's stuck together. So there's definitely glue. All right. So David and I have been watching Fargo, which I know is not a new thing. But I'm not sure it is really our thing. Oh, is that what it does? Is it a head, though? Is it like a, I mean, like a fish face? I don't know. Okay, I have one more thing to die cut. I, then I believe that will be it for this card. I'm going to lay... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, well, I can tell you that as it floated to the ground there, it floated... Um, it spun very nicely. It's a spinner. <laughs> is that what it is? It's a spinner. Makes it swim like... Yeah, I think it does, actually. I actually think that it... I thought it was c cut, um, like you know, that kind of thingy. All right, so I need boho blue, I think. Yep, boho blue. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> it's like when you were asking for the, um, uh, what was it, the, the piece of the guitar, and I knew what it was, that strike plate thing. No, it's not the strike plate. What's it called, David? The pick plate? The, the pick, pick guard, the pick, pick guard. guard. I knew what it was, but I could not get the words out fast enough. So, um, okay, so we're going to let that do its thing. And now we're going to take Versamark ink. It's one of those things where as we get older, we just, you know, we make up words and and then the young people, they take it as gospel, <laughs> as if that's true. All right, so this is a two-step stamp. It has this little guy with the, with the you know, dastardly edges. And then it has this face. And so I'm going to use, um, well, it's not a face, but it's, um, okay, good. Please do, but don't do that thing that I did about not getting it on straight. It, it's actually on very straight at the window. Okay, Versamark. So we're doing this, and we're putting it down here. And you got to know that I didn't do the... Um, swipey thing. I do it when I'm doing it myself, but when I'm trying to do it um, as a demo, I, I don't know why I forget because it's not in my bin here. Okay, so I'm bringing out the bin and we're bringing out the silver stuff because I just, I like the silver stuff. I, I really like embossing powder. I 
was not a very um, embossy kind of person, but, or heat embossing rather, I, I love dry embossing, um, but I have learned to like it, whoops, I made a big mess there, didn't I? Um, I have learned to like it very much. And since I'm gonna cut this out, I'm not terribly worried about the fact that if there will be any strays, I'm not usually concerned about strays. I'm not a very clean embosser, I guess I would say. So my heat tool is on level two. I am letting it warm up. And since it's cold in here, I'm warming my hands at the same time. Okay, here we go. And we're going to turn this pretty one. I have had obviously had this piece of very vanilla in my stash for quite some time since I have a pumpkin. And this is really killing my hands. I don't know why I'm doing that. Because I have my thing right here. Let's do it the safe way, shall we? Um, and so this, uh, this little second stamp is not solid. It is, um, there we go. But it's so, it's, um, I like the lure, the silvery lure part of it. So um, I think you can probably see it, but if you can't, let me see. Maybe not. Would it look better down there, up here? Anyway, oh, there it is. You can see okay, now. Yeah. You can see it in silver. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. Last time I'm going to leave, and I'm going to cut this out um, with the um, die that I... I... All right. So we are going to use this little guy here. And I'll be right back. David, you're on. And we're going to sing another song <laughs> while she does her little cooking thing in her machine. Yeah, oh, and, no, Jesse and Jesse's coming in to help us with sing this song. This happens when David sings <laughs> yeah, often. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't don't have the dogs out while you're trying to record music. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah, that's true. All right. They always want to uh, put their voice in the recording. I think this is one of the reasons why I, there's the magic mat again, um, why I don't do a lot of embossing for demo um, cards is because um, I don't emboss everything or um, use the machine all at the same time. And so um, I'm, I piecemeal it just like this when I create and it does make it kind of intense to watch in my opinion. Okay. So we are going to assemble this front. We're actually close to done, so no worries. Okay, um, we're going to pick this up with a thingy because that's what we need to do. Every time I watch you use your uh, your reverse tweezers, Mary, I think this is just such a great way to use them, but I, it's not the first thing I think of. Um, but I'm starting to have more issues with picking things up. So there's my little, um, there's my little feather there, and we are going to put linen thread. Well, let's use this one, shall we? Now, when I use any kind of thread, um, or thread, or twine, or ribbon, um, I do one of two things. Well, I do two things. First of all, with this linen thread. I usually run it through my bone folder because that straightens it out just a tish. Now for this, I don't want to straighten it out too much because I do want it to curl on its own, um, but I also leave it on the spool. So I'm going to leave this head down here and I'm going to um, feed this in from the front to the back. And I got one thread, there we go. Front to the back and then I'm going to add a glue dot on the back if I can find one. There we go. All right, and I'm just gonna add this glue dot on the back here and then stick the, you didn't see the glue dot go on, but I promise you it's right there, it's all sticky. Um, and that's gonna hold my, um, that's gonna hold my lure. And then I'm going to put a glue, a dot of glue, not a glue dot, a tish more, yes. Is tish, tish is more than a smidge, but less than a bunch. I think. Oops. Works for me. Yeah. Okay. So I lifted my fingers too early. So you know there is that I I am a completely a glue person. I'm there we go. But there is 
there is that little, you know, hold it of, oh my goodness, a um, split second longer than you need, than you would if you were using tape because tape or, or not tape, seal is, um, all right. But I also get this extra little time to move my, um, to move my little lures. Oop, and I, did I glue it to my thing? No, I did not. Okay. Um, so I am going to, now one thing I learned, and this is, this is how the linen thread came about was that I had initially done it where I had a fish swimming across it, but you can see the back of the fish from the back side. And I did not want to do that because, um, I, I didn't want to see it when I opened the card. I didn't want to see the ugly backside. So I have some Stampin' Dimensionals here and I'm going to put them on my, on the back of my um, lures. Okay, here. And here and here. All right, um, so this came about by because I needed a way to make the lures look like they were, um, <laughs> but of course, um, yeah, so um, oh, this, there we go. Okay, so we're going to just put this on here. I am just sticking to everything today. I don't know what my problem is. All right, and again, with the liquid glue, I have a little bit of time to, um, to, to adhere that and move them around still, even still, I have a little bit of time. All right, now, my when I glued this down, I just, I put the glue kind of in the center of these on the back side. So the edges, you can lift them up enough to bring your, um, well, I'm calling, it's linen thread, but I'm calling it rope. Uh, to bring your, or maybe it's fishing line. That's not really fishing line, it's rope. Um, and so then that gave me the in, the ability to um, lift it and, and do the fun stuff, you know, twist it around, all that fun stuff. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not supposed to lay flat. It's supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be, random. All right. So here this goes. And th there is no rhyme or reason to how much I used here. I just snipped off a piece. And when I snipped it off, let's see if it does it for me now. No, it didn't. Um, it just kind of coiled on its own because I was thinking I was going to have to coil it, which is what I'm going to have to do now. And I'm kind of fighting the curve here. So let's do this the other way. Maybe we'll go this way. Um, so maybe I, I don't think I straightened this too much. Anyway, um, so we're just going to put it here. We're going to coil it. I might even leave that little guy up. Maybe not. Okay. Let me get my, my glue dots. So at a team meeting, and Mary, you'll remember this, um, one of the team members showed us how to cut um, the glue dots, the mini glue dots in quarters. I think it was quarters, wasn't it? Um and so that is what I've done there. Basically what I did was just fold a little piece of the paper over it. And now I just have smaller glue dots. It may not be a quarter, but I just have this little bit of glue dot. And so I'm going to start by um, just we'll coil this up again. And I don't want it to look really un, I want it to look kind of naturally messy, um, a little bit like a fair faucet bow, but without the bow. And then I'm going to stick the glue glue under here, the little mini glue dot there. And it's, it's literally the mini, mini glue dot. Um, and that is one quarter twirly. That's an excellent idea. That's an excellent name. Okay. Now I have more than a quarter here, but we're going to go, we're going to go with this. We'll make it just a little bit um, messy and we'll put the, so my biggest concern was making sure that the glue dot was not a wasn't visible and B was completely covered by the linen thread. Okay, so that's what that's what we're going to do there. That's all I needed was about a half a glue dot to um, put that on there. And that is the front of the card um, all done. So there we go. So now 
Um, this is not hard. I just found it, you know, it's a little bit challenging. I think I got a blue dot on my paper. Um, but you know what? It's, we are stampers. We can manage. So here we go. I have a piece of very vanilla. A couple of things we're going to do in here. We are going to stamp some fish. Um, we're going to, and we're going to do some stamping of sentiments. So here's my plan. My plan is that I have to, sh I want my, my, um, sentiment to show here. So we're going to move the, oh, you, you can't see it. Let's use a different color here. Look, this is a perfect use for the glue dot or the dots. Okay, so my sentiment needs to be above here because I don't want anything else and I don't want anything below here to show. So the sentiment that I use for the inside is, um, again, from the um, Let's Go Fishing Suite. Um, and it is the, I'm so glad you're my dad. And, uh, or so glad you're my dad. And I'm using um, <laughs> near Mossy Meadow. And it's on my stamp block. And so this is not adhered in yet. I'm because I don't want it to. Um, I, I don't want it in case I don't make it straight, which, you know, that's a possibility always. And I just want to make sure that it fits in this window. And it does. So that's that for now. Now we're going to go. We're going to build from the bottom up, or I'm going to build from the bottom up because that's the way I like it. Um, and David, could you hand me the crumb cake? It's under C. Um, my uh, my colors, crumb cake, it's brown. Very tan. Thank you. All right. My, the crumb cake, I'm using the crumb cake ink for the fish. What kind of fish is this? Bass? What is that? Uh, sure. Sure, we don't know. This is what this is one thing I would really like to know. When I'm given a, a piece of, or, you know, when I'm given a stamp, and I'm stamping off once after the crumb cake, and I'm going to stamp three times total, but my last guy is going to be off the, basically off the edge here. He, he looks almost like a shark because all he gets is fin. See? Yeah, might be a bass. Yeah, you know, there was something, the reason I think it's a bass is because when I was looking at lures, it said that that was a bass lure. So, all right, putting that away because, you know me, okay, because I still have this one open, and this that's a dangerous thing. I'm surprised I didn't put my hand right in it. Now, I, my recollection is that I stamped this off three times because... Mossy Meadow is kind of dark, so I'm trying to line up the eyeball, but it, it's never, I don't know if you can see my head. Um, it's a challenge for me. There, we'll look at that. All right, so I did Mossy Meadow twice, again, stamped off three times, one, two, three, and then we're going to put him barely down here. He gets almost nothing. I gave, I really kind of shorted myself on space there. All right, and then the third guy. Now, normally I would have probably done these in petal pink or something pink because I feel like, well, that would be salmon, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be salmon. So let me clean off my stamp with my very dirty chamois. See, but it's clean because I just um, I just put it underwater to wet it for this. I, I finally learned that I know you're not supposed to leave your chamois in a in a closed container, but I was leaving my container um, kind of partially open, but it would get a little bit musty smelling. So I finally just started putting it in an open air container because I don't, um, yeah, because I don't want, I don't want it to smell musty. That's icky. So this one we're stamping off twice and going, um, but it looks, they get really dirty looking, of course, because you're putting a bunch of ink on it. So that's that. Oh, man, I just put, that's going to be a design element choice. There's going to be a, see, this is, this is a day. We're having a day. All right. Now, I forgot to do the, since I have the blue out anyway. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 
Okay, see? <laughs> I'm just having a day. So good thing I have my chamois because it is taking away all my ink. So I'm going to, I um, had suggested in my instructions that you do this in four quadrants. So that's what I'm doing. But because of the ink catastrophe, we're going to put some more up there. All right, fancy. All right, and then we're going to close that because even though I need it again, I already it says need it. Oh, I have them. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Okay. <clears throat> so, happy Valentine's Day. We're going to, I put this as kind of as low as I can because I don't want to just even by mistake. This is from the Country Bouquet um, stamp set, right? Yep. It's one of my favorite. I was just in love with that when I saw it and I used it. And I loved it. And then, you know, you find that you get other new stuff and you put it away. And I was I was happy to bring it back out again um, recently to use it again. All right. So bringing out the black memento ink. Because this is the only black I use with these um, these clear stamp sets. Because otherwise I they um, I'm afraid to put my hand on here because I got so much ink in my hand. So putting my bobber, I knew what this was called. And I do also know that blue is probably not a bobber, bobber color. I only have ever seen them in um, red. Red and white. And white. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, white on top. Red on the bottom, right? Because th yeah. this is the bottom part of the stamp. So um, yeah, I think we're going to do that full strip. Maybe there. So there we go. Do, 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 do. All right. That part is complete. All right. And if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I prefer seal. Uh, I, I prefer um, seal on the inside panel. Um, be, just because the, <laughs> that's how I started doing it. Um, at some point someone suggested that that was a good idea. And so, um, that's how I do it. But you can, you can also use liquid glue if you prefer. Woo. See, it worked. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So that's the card. And now we are going to do the envelope. Maybe. So I've already cut my DSP. And, you know, I'll tell you, I normally do glue, but I've been a little over gluey lately. And um, so for the, I think just, I think today I'm going to use seal for my, um, which will make all the seal fans very happy. And everyone, anyone who gets this card, whoever that father is, is going to enjoy the dog hair that Pixie has given us. Okay. See, now this is why I, this is, I, I need to practice with my seal because I didn't get it quite to the edge. Um, and I should have put it on my, oh man, did I put it upside down? I sure did. But nobody's going to know, right? Okay. And then snip, 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 snip. Oh, You're dear. I'm sorry, what? You're off the frame. Oh, sorry. Good thing, because I cut the envelope. Just kidding. I did not do that. I am a fussy cutter of the highest caliber. Okay. All right, so that's that part. And then... One last little thing to do, and we shall be done with this lovely card. And I do love the card. It's just um, giving me fits today. So we're going to, once again, use this little water thing, because you know I'm all about the texture and the water. And I really didn't want this to be very um, noticeable, so I stamped it pretty lightly. Uh, and left my blue open again. 
Um, two more things. Now, I don't know why, but this time around, I decided that I wanted my, my fish body to be green. So I cleaned off my stamp and put my... Um, and now remember that this mossy meadow is um, pretty intense. Um, and I don't want him to be like a green fish. I wanted him to be green. You know, you know what I mean? All right, so that's that. And I lost the other piece. Is it? Yep. So now I'm going to cut, I'm doing the second, the second stamp. What is two step stamping? I'm doing the second stamp in boho blue. And Get that eye there. I'm not sure that I left enough. Uh, there we go. I just want a little touch of color. He doesn't need to be bright blue. Um, you know, just a little touch of color. And that, ladies and gents, is my card. Um, so there we go. So let's see if I can get all of my garbage out of the way. David tells me I need to end with the card in the screen. So hence, that's what we're going to do with my little fishes all over the place. And um, you should only see what's, well, you really can see part of what's all around me. I have blocks everywhere. So um, I, again, reminder that next week on Super Bowl Sunday, there will be no card um, making. I will have a live, uh, uh, David is right. Yeah, he's right. He's right. I forgot last time. And so... Um, but there will be no card live card making video. There will be a recorded video um, on Super Bowl Sunday, but I will not be here live. I'll be watching the, hopefully the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Thank you, Amy. Thanks for being here. Um, and then the next thing is don't forget the paper pumpkin. The last day to order is the 10th of February. And I highly recommend um, the new paper pumpkin kits. I, um, I was not a huge paper pumpkin fan years ago, but at the more time that we, um, the, the more that I see lately, the more I really, really like them. So um, that's it. You can find the instructions for this on my blog from, I don't know what day, last week, I know, uh, maybe Tuesday, or was this my Thursday one? Either one of those, just check it out. It's from last week. I'm sorry, I don't know the actual date. I'll try to put it in the comments. All right, thank you so much. Enjoy your evening and um, I will see you in two weeks. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you being here.